Hi there, this is Renee from Floating Lights Photography. You're watching another episode of Focus Wednesdays, and today I want to show you how to embed your copyright into your photos. So this is just another way to protect your photos against theft. Obviously watermarking them is a great way to do that as well, but this just takes it one step further and actually embeds your information into the metadata of your photo. So I'm going to show you how to do that here today. The first thing you need to do is open a new document. So a new blank document, you're going to go up to File and New. Uh, you can leave it default at whatever yours is set to. It doesn't really matter. None of that is important for right now. Now we want to go up to File and we want to come down to File Info. And from here, this little dialog box is going to come up and we're going to make sure that we're on the Description tab. If you can't see your Description tab, you'll come over to the right hand side of this drop down box and just click the drop down arrow and make sure that Description is checked here. So in your Description tab, you're going to fill in a couple of these sections. So we're going to fill in author. So there you're going to put your name. Um, I leave everything else blank. I don't fill in author title or description, nor do I fill in description writer or keywords. If you wanted to fill those in, you are welcome to. The next thing I do is come down to copyright status and I select copyrighted from the drop down list. Under copyright notice, I'm going to write my copyright notice. So I'm going to make sure I put my copyright symbol in there. So on a Mac, you're going to hit Option G, and on a PC, you're going to hold down Alt and hit 0169 to get this little copyright symbol. And then you can type in your information. And then if you had a copyright URL, you could type that as well. So if you had a website or a page on your website that explained your copyright information, you could put that in here as well. Um, I don't have one, so I'm not going to include that. Now I want to turn this into a template, so I need to come down to this little import drop down and I want to go to export. And from here, it's going to bring up the metadata templates on my computer. So it's already going to save it in the right section. All I need to do is rename it. So I'm going to call this 2016 copyright and I'm going to hit save. And now I can hit OK. And you can see here that this little copyright symbol has appeared now before my image. On this image that we're going to work on here, there is no copyright symbol in front of it, which means that this image has not been copyrighted or my metadata has not been embed into this photo yet. So I'm going to close this template. And we're actually going to create an action to embed this information into our photo. So we're going to come to our actions panel. And we're going to come down to the bottom here and click this new little action button. And I'm just going to place mine under my FLP workflow action set. You can create a new action set if you'd like. And to do that, you're going to come up to your drop down list up here and make sure you go to new set. And then you can rename a new set, whatever you'd like. So I have a workflow set that I'm going to place my action into. And I'm going to call it same thing, 2016 copyright. And I'm going to hit record. So now with that playing in the background, I'm going to come up to File, I'm going to come down to File Info, and making sure I'm still on the Description tab, all I need to do now is come down to my little Export drop down, and I can select the 2016 copyright template that we made previously. So when this Options box comes up, we're going to make sure that the third option is checked. So keep original metadata, but append a matching properties from template. We're going to hit OK. And as you can see, all this has been set up for us the way we set it up a minute ago. So we're going to hit OK. And now we can stop our action. So now when we open a photo and go to File Open, I'm just going to open a random photo here from my desktop. You can see the one that we played the action on has the copyright symbol. This new one that we just opened up does not have the copyright symbol. But we can easily play it by coming over to the right hand side here and hitting play. And now our copyright symbol is embedded into our photo. I can't guarantee that this is going to completely protect your images against theft. I don't think anyone can guarantee that, but it is one extra step that you're taking to make sure that your images are protected the right way. So it's probably worth the extra couple minutes to set this up and any image that you're going to upload to the web, make sure that you have embed your copyright in it and protect it a little bit better. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can always email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or you can find me over on Facebook at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.